because you shit on Bernie. And I know the truth. So I keep getting uh, lots of contact about my thoughts on the uh, Cat Williams interview on Club Shit. Peace and love, family. Welcome to Night and Day Talk Media. The internet streets has been on fire since Cat Williams' interview on Shannon Sharp's podcast, Club Shay Shay. Well, the late great comedian Bernie Mac's daughter speaks out in response to Cat mentioning her father's name in regards to the other kings of comedy comedians shitting on Bernie behind his back and tried to replace him with Cat Williams. Here's what Bernie's daughter Janice had to say. So I keep getting... Uh lots of contact about my thoughts on the uh cat williams interview on club shay shay the interview heard around the world <laughs> and i don't know my it, my take is probably gonna be really really boring um number one i want people to keep in mind my dad has been dead for 15 years so i have not been fully immersed in the world of comedy i don't know the ins and outs of that like that anymore because my end has been gone for 15 years you know I've got friends in the game but we don't sit and talk about you know stuff like that so you know, I don't know Cat Williams uh, never met him that's one person I never did get to meet when my dad was alive but from everything that I've ever heard my dad you know say he's always seemed like a stand-up dude so I have no qualms no quarrels with him um, I thought the interview was hilarious entertaining that man dropped so many uh, one-liners that I'm sure we are going to be wearing down to the ground in this year of our lord 2024 but um i one of my biggest takeaways in, in watching people's responses was how people were kind of like oh that's kind of sad like outside of being you know tickled by it and i've seen people say stuff like it's like watching you know your uncles go at it and you're like oh why can't we all just get along well i mean because everybody doesn't get along like i think that's one of the mis conceptions about comedians and I guess it's due to the fact that what they do brings so much joy to others that the perception the expectation is that behind closed doors everybody gets along everybody just and it's just it's a love and no it's not it's they've always been competitive like I it's always been um as far as I've ever witnessed in watching my dad it's always been um kind of cutthroat like You'll have, you know, people beefing, like, same as in within your family. Just because y'all related don't mean y'all all get along, right? It's, comedy's no different. Um, but for me, Cat Williams has my utmost appreciation and respect for giving my dad his props and his flowers. And I felt like it was genuine. There are some people who have given, you know, my dad his flowers now that he's dead that I'm looking at, like, and you know doggone well he wasn't doing that when he was alive and that not just famous people just people all across the board as my dad used to say you ever want to be loved by everybody you ever want to be special just die it's real easy to give lip service when somebody dies and you oh they were so wonderful and that's not how you felt when they were alive but when cat spoke of my dad for me i felt his heart i felt that it was genuine and i appreciated um again it's been 15 years since my dad's been dead if you follow me at all you know i've said this repeatedly like it does my heart good to know that my dad was a stand-up guy that the man that i knew him to be was who he actually was to people because that's the thing like we can love people and think they one way and then find out later no and i say like in 15 years if he was an asshole somebody by now would have been like eh, let me tell you about that mother so <laughs> that that is not the case with my dad makes me so proud and i just really appreciate what i believe the genuine love and respect that cat williams showed my father it is so much appreciated much love and mad props cat williams i would love to sit down and just have a conversation with cat williams because i think that is probably be mo the most entertaining and gym dropping conversation i probably would have in my life <laughs> outside of conversations with my dad so yeah so that's my take like i said probably boring but that's what i thought again much love and respect to cat williams bernie's daughter seems like a sweet kind-hearted woman that really have respect for all the comedians and the laughter they bring to the world we want to say continue to rest in peace to the late great Bernie Mac. 
Make sure to comment your thoughts below.